If you do this, text on your phone, you run a higher risk of getting something called trigger finger. That's the bad news. The good news is there's an easy way to fix it. Only take you out of commission for a couple of days. I'll tell you about it. The new on the night beat, you type, you text, you hurt. That's the reality for millions of cell phone and computer users these days who are suffering from hand and finger injuries simply by communicating. The night team's Ursula Perry explains why it's happening and how you can fix it fast. This can cause it, and this can cause it. And that's exactly how 55-year-old Holly Phillips got stenosing tenosynovitis, or trigger finger. 27 years of being on a keyboard um, has really and done it. Add in the texting. Add in the texting and, and the cell phone, yeah, it just improves that. Improving her chances still further for injuries, she's borderline diabetic. So bad, her tendons grew swollen and literally pulled her finger into her palm. She tried the steroid shots. Shot lasted two months, and when it wore off, it was even worse than when it started. Here's the bad news. If you do this, text, chances are you are going to run a risk for this injury. There's no safe way to do it. In other words, Dr. Woodbury is going to get a lot of business in the future. This is why a simple in-house procedure can fix it. It's called percutaneous release. And we make a small incision in the skin, release the tunnel, the incision is just as wide as that is, requires no stitches uh, whatsoever. There's a loose bandage that goes around the hand for a day, but people can go back to their normal activities the same day. Since normal activities will probably include more texting and typing, Dr. Woodbury can offer this. Whereas the injections are about 75% effective in the long term and sometimes require repeat injections, the percutaneous release is 95% effective and it'll never come back once it's done. Holly worries about her children too, who never seem to put down their devices. My one son actually already does have some hand issues, so he's doing the thing I did, trying to ignore it. And, you know, that would be my <laughs> suggestion. It doesn't go away by itself. It didn't get there by itself. It's not going to go away by itself. Yeah. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. The San Antonio Orthopedic Group says any repetitive motion can begin the trigger finger condition, and it's often aggravated by diabetes, gout, and arthritis as well. Mm -hmm.